guys um, lower level uh, right here um, uh, adult restroom right here elevator next door takes you up and down to the second floor uh, the new uh, CHS kitchen serving food serving area is right there as well on the, uh, um, the bottom half of the uh, first level here this is a great room right here so it's a uh, kind of a dual classroom combined uh, and then the last two classrooms are two new science classrooms so we have stairwells on either side in addition to the uh, elevator on the second level is two additional classrooms uh, and on the south side is our big, uh, basically the big student center um, building right there for a lot of various high school programs that'll be uh, uh, coming in. So, um, yeah, so we're excited about that as well, too. And um, we're probably, what, 99% uh, um, complete, just a, fall, a few small little loose ends and stuff, some punch list and all that good stuff. So, um, but otherwise, uh, I think we'll be Andrea Hockey Fine come, come August, yes. I think is our uh, what we're for. So. But uh, anyways, but we yeah, we have get... doors open right now, so if we want to do a big, almost like a real estate tour, we can all go through one we room at once, go... or... Yeah. Yeah, yeah let's go. Want to start in the rooms this first? A... Yeah, let's see. These are, are you? Classrooms here. How exciting is this? Isn't this exciting? I don't know that I've heard of this. Oh, but... Yeah, I don't know what it's like. That is, that is. That is. Well, what cares deeply about that one? But that one's there before. It's true. This is not the same. And then the other two are yeah. the science classes. Yeah, yeah, so these two are set up for science. This yeah. one is a little bit more uh, generic, I guess. Yeah, with accordion curtain in the center of the room to either open it for um, great room teaching for the two uh, for the two teachers, or they can close it off and, and have the privacy and yeah. all that good stuff. So, yeah, looks like a classroom. <laughs> 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 it smells like a new classroom. Yeah. 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 I can wait to two classes. Twenty first century classroom. Instructor. Yep, yeah, absolutely. Thank you. You got it. Kelly, the network should be open right here. Thank you. <laughs> Very uh, modern cabinet collection. <laughs> I know. From the 60s. Please, I guess. You got it. <laughs> yep. But retro is quite in right now. Yep. So this one and the next one are pretty much the same, exactly. right, Carol? Exactly. So this classroom and the next door classroom are, are the same. Oh wow! Got a yep. shower and everything. <laughs> yeah, the, I think that's it. Jim. Is the the showers like the Irons area? The that's all required the these days, yeah. right? Oh, for wow. science classrooms. A deluge shower and then the eye washes. Mm -hmm. yep. and that's all required by that's code now when you do a science lab. Yes, yes and you have an acid, acid uh, cabinet yeah, behind you. Roll on the floor. <laughs> is the hood bent at the side or up top? What's that? Is the hood wet? Does that have the side or up top? Go all the way up? So, what is uh, that? It has, has to. Like, it's a bend. Oh. It has to be 10 feet above wow. the roof. It's sort of like a chimney at home. Oh, okay. Yeah, it has to bend. Oh, okay. And, and then out separately from the main air conditioning system because that can be venting. Right, right, right. Basically, too. Mm -hmm. yep. Wow. And the one next door is basically the same. Yeah. Okay. Um. Do you guys want to go upstairs, up the elevator? Thank you. We have options, stairs or elevator. <laughs> if that was 
Yes, sir. Yep. Yeah, it's all the stair here, and then it'll just take another one right up that way, too. So. <laughs> yeah, we obviously have one up on the other side over here, too. So. Just to give it a little bit lighter feel.
I scored it with? Oh, I'm Matt Weinberger. Okay, I've read your stuff. Yeah, I don't know. I usually do video content. That's uh, Matt. Matt, none of Matt. He's just one of my guys. Matt Brown is actually not with the trigger anymore. Oh, okay. Yeah, we have to do a report. One Matt at a time follows it. One Matt at a time follows it.
this than the previous. Well, the previous one was about, Andrew, would you say like this? I don't know because I never saw it. Oh, you did? It was kind of like half the piece, oh, right? So I would say it was like this section. Yeah. Just this part. Yes. Yeah. It was just kind of this long, narrow. That's what I remember. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't think it went beyond that. Oh, wow. And with sloping floors. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've heard that more than once. It was literally an overhang that had been closed. Okay. Like, it was literally an outdoor area that I think it was 70s. Gotcha. what this area was going to look like, mm -hmm. but oh my gosh, yeah, it, it opened really, it up really so much. It looks great. It looks fabulous. Crazy. Yeah. Kids love it because now they can
Welcome, everybody. Oh, it's so great to be at an event with people. So what, yeah, exactly. <laughs> so wonderful. Um, I'm Julia Lesnovich, the interim superintendent. I uh, just want to welcome you all to the ribbon cutting ceremony of this beautiful new building that we now call the Dr. O'Connor Student Center. Um, so, isn't it gorgeous? We wish that this event could have been larger than it is. We, when we started the planning, we were under stricter uh, guidelines, um, but we're still having to follow some of our county guidelines. At this time, I'd like to call up Mrs. O'Connor, principal of Chaparral Elementary and Brett's better half, to lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance. Please stand. Ready, begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. This is such an exciting day for everyone here as all of you played an integral role in making this all a reality. So I'd like to make a few introductions before I hand over the mic to the CUSD Board Vice President, Mr. Stephen Lanusa. Where's Stephen? There he is. Okay. Um, he's here with us this evening. Our Board President, Ms. Nancy Tresser Osgood, isn't feeling well, so she really wishes she could be here tonight. Um, we also have with us our clerk, Kathy Archer. There she is. And we have board members Bob Fass and Dave Niemer here with us. We have Claremont Mayor Jennifer Stark. Several members of the Renew Infrastructure Sustain Excellence Committee, otherwise known as the RISE Committee that spearheaded the Measure G campaign, are also here as well. Please raise your hand if you are on that very important committee that helped us build this new building. <laughs> Members of the Citizens Bond Oversight Committee are here, chaired by Sherry Nagel. If you are on that committee, please raise your hand. <laughs> Sherry was my superintendent when I was a teacher. 
Glenn to see her here. We have Dr. Jim L. Sasser, former CUSD superintendent, who led the district through initial conversations about the feasibility of passing a bond, who led the district through all of those, how many meetings did you have, 60? 70. <laughs> Between Ms. Shoemaker and Dr. L. Sasser, almost 70 meetings were held just to figure it out and see where, where we would take that. The, he also led us in the ballot measure, the campaign, the approval, and the vast majority of the construction. So we're happy that he came back for us today. Thank you to an incredible architect and firm, Jim DiCamillo and PBKWLC Architecture and Planning, and he will be speaking this evening. And to our CUSD district staff, Lisa, Rick, Felipe, Terrell, Kathy, um, and all of the CHS staff who really um, oversaw those day-to-day -day functions of building a building on a campus. When, it, when there's lots of kids here, that, that's not an easy feat. We'd also like to, we also have with us tonight our um, association presidents, Amy Weiler and Kara Evans are here. <laughs> and lastly, and most of all, thank you to the Claremont community who supported this bond and allowed CUSD to make much needed infrastructure improvements, as well as to add the beautiful new building we are celebrating today. We do hope in the fall there'll be no uh, COVID guidelines or, or restrictions, and we do plan on hosting a very large uh, open house, um, grand opening for the whole community to come and see this great building. So we hope you will all join us back again this fall. Again, we thank you all for the part that you played in this endeavor. In the fall, we do hope, uh, like I said, to um, have this fabulous event. We just need a date, Andrea. <laughs> Uh, so at this time, I'm going to invite our board vice president, Mr. Luke Noosa, to come up and say a few words. I've learned that these masks make the newest, latest bracelet for people who want to know where to store them. It took me eight months to figure that one out. It is such an honor to be here on behalf of Board President Nancy Tresha Osgood and the rest of the school board to officially open the Brett, Dr. Brett O'Connor Student Center at Claremont High School. As a longtime member of the Claremont Unified School District Board, I was able to vote to approve him as principal for this high school, which is a very great honor. And next year will be a very bittersweet task to tell him goodbye. It has been my pleasure to also witness the many Measure G improvements that have been graced our district over the last four years. But this building is the crown jewel and so aptly named since Dr. O'Connor is such a student-centered leader. Dr. O'Connor is often seen accompanying students to events and athletic contests, promoting fundraising activities, participating in theater productions with students, and transporting students to Citrus College to take courses there. Here are a few numbers from Rhett's tenure at CHS. And I'm going to paraphrase a song from the musical Rent. Brett has been principal of CHS for 5,048 days. That's 121,152 hours, or 7,269,120 minutes, which equals 436 million 147,200 seconds. Brett has presided over 13 graduation ceremonies with over 7,500 students graduating from CHS. Some of the honors and programs which were implemented at Claremont High under Brett's leadership include the Student Voice Committee composed of counselor selected students and led by Brett. That committee has been instrumental in providing input on the design of this beautiful building. I wonder if he let me choose the font. <laughs> the diversification and expansion of student clubs on campus, with over 400 clubs now being offered, happened with Brett's support. The Link Crew, which matches upper class students with groups of first years to assist with their transition into high school, was another program. 
the International Baccalaureate Program for juniors and seniors. And that IB program will soon be expanded to include grades 7 through 10 as well. The advancement for via, excuse me, the Advancement via Individual Determination Program, or AVID as, that is known, as it is known, as well as the Dual Enrollment Program with Citrus College, where students can earn both high school and college course credit. He was helpful on the completion of a $3 million renovation of the Donna Fructi Theater of the Performing Arts. Personally, Brett was honored by the Educational Theater Association with the Administrator's Award, an award given to outstanding school administrators who have demonstrated exemplary support for educational theater. And just this year, CHS was named a 2021 Exemplary Arts Program. Many CIF playoffs and athletic championships took place, took place here during Brett's tenure. And I'm not aware of a athletic team that, haven't, that hasn't thrived and succeeded under Brett's support. The campus, with Brett's help, has also had and hosted outstanding speech and debate competitions, as well as visual and performing arts programs that have engaged hundreds of students every year. Brett was also recognized with the Association of California School Administrators, AXA, with the Charter Leadership Award for his commitment to AXA and the Claremont Management Association. These are just some of the reasons that it's a very fitting tribute that we dedicate this wonderful building as the Dr. Brett O'Connor Student Center. I'll invite uh, Jim DiCamillo up to say a few words. I'm going to start with a few selections from Rent. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I actually put down some notes, which I rarely do when I do these events, but there are so many people to thank. This is a a project that was near and dear to my heart as an architect and uh, there's just a lot of people who who helped along the way and I don't want to forget any first of all I want to say thank you to uh, well I guess I should I'm Jim D. Camillo president and managing partner of PPKWLC Architects in Rancho Cucamonga um, I want to thank the school district first and foremost for their trust in us with a project like this it's not the first time we've worked at Claremont High School this actually returned it for us we we did the theater renovation and the stadium improvements so when they said, Jim, do you want to do a project right in the middle of campus? I said, sign me up. We'll, we'll take on the challenge. I also want to thank the, the people here at Claremont High School, the staff, students, faculty, who helped us all along the way with design input. These projects are not dreamed up you know, just in my office by a team of designers. We got tremendous input and in talking to faculty and the like along the way. <laughs> I have to thank the, the Claremont community here. Um, when we said we were going to knock down buildings in the middle of your campus with all the kids around and everybody else, you know, I remember the day when the demolition started and I asked Dr. Connor, are you ready for this? Because we're about to make a lot of noise. And, uh, and we did, and, and you see the results behind you. I want to thank the construction team, and I say this at every one of these I do these days, the, the uh, amount of effort that goes into a project like this, the, the countless man hours. And while we were all going through the issues that we're still going through in an event like this, you have, to, you have to imagine we had guys working shoulder to shoulder in heat and wind and rain and everything, safety conditions and all of that being done uh, out here during and throughout the pandemic. And um, if I could ask for just some applause for the construction team, and maybe, maybe they'll hear us from here. Not, not an easy thing to do uh, in the midst of everything that's been going on in the world. I, I can't stop the thank yous, but I will with one last one, and that's to two people who, from my studio, did the lion's share of the work here, and that's Sasanto Agustiati, my senior project architect, who will always stand in the back, but should stand in the spotlight. 
and then the guy who's along with them during the whole construction deals with every issue, every phone call, every we got we need you out here is Andy Powell from my office during construction. And now I'm going to just talk just briefly about the building because you all, you also toured it, but from the very outset, uh, this building is and was and will forever be about students. We had a lot of discussions early on about what this building should be in the middle of the campus. And the one thing that the district and the faculty and administration here at Claremont High kept telling me is, Jim, it's got to be about kids. And I think we, we accomplished that. This is a building in and about students. It's a building that students can walk through, be around, be inside. You saw as you toured the facility that there are views everywhere out and through this building. It's a building that you literally pass through going from class to class. And I hope that uh, for many, many years to come, it will remain a building for students. Secondly, it was told to me that this building had to be the, the centerpiece of Measure G. No pressure. Um, and so when you start a building, you know, you're just given an idea that's supposed to be a student center. It doesn't have a name yet. It doesn't really have anything. But I think in the end, we accomplished that. It was intended to be a building set apart that the community, the city, the taxpayers of Claremont would know they were here when we were done. And so I think for the next 50 years, they will know this, this project came out of Measure G, maybe longer. Um, Lastly, and we noticed it in, in the tour that Terrell uh, gave us, uh, that it's a building that you can actually get up into the tree line of, of Claremont High School, which is something you've never really been able to do before. I've been around this area for 40 years in practice. But I want you to all just take, take a moment to stand upstairs from the dance room. You can see into the stadium. So if you're practicing dance, you can see where you're going to perform for a game. Uh, there is going to be a battle over those two north cl classrooms, a lottery or something. Um, but the idea was to get you up above the, the uh, realm of the ground level of Claremont High and be able to see everything from the mountains to the valley. And I think we accomplished that as well. And you know, see, if you wonder where the inspiration for where does all this come from, that's what we, we put into a box and come out with a building like this. This is an award-winning building. It was uh, nationally recognized in... Uh, uh, National School and University magazine in the design phase, uh, and we hope to submit it now that the that the construction is done, and and uh, maybe we'll get recognized again at the national level for this. My last in conclusion is a, a congratulations to a dear old friend, Dr. O'Connor. When he and I first met, we were doing <laughs> we were doing a lunch shelter at Pioneer Junior High in Upland. I mean, I didn't know at the, at the time I was going to be meeting with a guy they named a building after. We were just doing a lunch shelter. But it's been a wild ride all, all along. I can't thank you for your help and support. And finally, congratulations to the community of uh, Claremont. Uh, this, was, this has been a joy. I do not come to every project every week. My staff will tell you that. I came to this project every single week during construction to watch it get built. So again, Welcome to your new student center, and congratulations. Guys. I'd like to invite Mayor Stark up, and Dr. O'Connor, you may want to come up because I believe she has something for you, and then we will also turn the mic over to you, and maybe you can introduce your family. Hi everyone, my name is Jennifer. Um, it is such an honor to be here on behalf of the city to congratulate the whole community on this incredible student center. I wrote some notes. Um, I am a, also an alum of Claremont High and uh, all three of my children went to Claremont High. Uh, I have memories of eating Funyuns out of the icky old, you know, <laughs> cafeteria over there. Um, this is such an incredible upgrade and something our students, the young people of Claremont, so deserve. Um, I'm very excited to be here at this event. Again, it is an honor for me to be here on behalf of the city to express our enthusiasm about the opening of this incredible facility. Uh, this facility represents our service to our students and to our young people. Um, this building represents what can happen uh, with 
collective investment over time um, that this building was that took from what is it 2019 until today it stayed on track um, in 2020 uh, my daughter had to register for senior year here and they made it work speech and debate they still made it work um, so there is even in the chaos there's a spirit of um, dedication to being adaptive and to working together to see great things done. It's so appropriate that this building is named after Dr. O'Connor, a champion of students. And um, I think that this building epitomizes his tenure. Uh, so congratulations and thank you. It, again, it's my pleasure to present you with this certificate of recognition from the city of Claremont. Congratulations. Not used to not having my glasses around me. Dear school board members and interim superintendent, Dr. Olesnovich, I am um, very happy all of you are here today. Uh, before I begin, I want to introduce um, my family, which uh, really probably gives me the energy to do what I do. Uh, I want to introduce um, my in-laws, Gary McCoppin and Linda McCoppin. Thank you for your support. And they are absolutely wonderful grandparents. Um, my three boys, and I'll just go in order of age, which is Ryan, who's a CHS alum, Kevin, and Colin. So thank you for being here um, today. And then, of course, the most important person is my wife, um, Ann O'Connor. So Ann, thank you. I really want to start out by thanking the school board and previous school board members for this incredible honor. As board members, you are willing to be public servants in this community, and you always stay focused on what is best for students, making Claremont Unified School District a great place to work. And I am very grateful and humbled for your support. And. Um, my 14 years here, we have been very fortunate to have a school board that really is student-centered. And um, when you're principal of a high school, with just one high school in town, um, you may not realize the importance of a school board member if you're not. But if you're a principal or superintendent, um, you realize how important they are for our students. So I want to thank all of them today. To former CUSD Superintendent Dr. Osasser, I'm thankful I had the opportunity to work for you for eight and a half years. I will be eternally thankful, I am eternally thankful for your support and your leadership skills. So thank you. For the students at CHS, I thank them for inspiring me to come to work every day. They are insightful, passionate, sensitive, and creative, and they make my job a joy. And every day I get to observe students who overcome different, difficult obstacles in their life, and I am so proud of them. To the CHS Certificate and Classified staff members, thank you for all your hard work with our students. You treat students like you treat your own family. Your patience, professionalism, and ability to connect with teenagers make this campus a special place. To my, parent, my past and current administrative colleagues, I can't do my job without you. And so I thank you for everything that you do every day and those of you that have been previous um, on my administrative team. Mom, and I believe my mom is watching, um, Ryan somehow got her set up, so hello, Mom. 
Um, I want to thank you and Dad for always reminding me and my two brothers, who I think, well, they may be watching too from the East Coast. They're probably wondering what's wrong with these people naming a building after him, but that's okay. Um, so I want to thank my mom and dad for always reminding me and my two brothers of the three most important things in life. Faith, family, and the importance of getting a good education. To my wife, Ann, I love you and thank you for your understanding and patience. I know when our kids were younger, especially Colin, it was not always easy when I was not home until late because I was attending school events. And of course, your willingness to accompany me to so many events allows me to enjoy my job even more. And if you remember, last weekend was a three-day weekend, and I went home on Friday night and said, how about for date night on Saturday night, we drive to Palmdale to watch a CIF, CHS playoff game. And she didn't skip a beat. And um, that was wonderful. And um, her passion for students, um, she gets it. And I thank you for that and understanding that. <laughs> to Ryan, Kevin, and Colin, being the high school principal's son at the school you attend is not easy. You handled it well, and I am proud of the young men you have become. To the Claremont community, this town is truly a special place because of the passionate citizens and engaged citizens that reside here. Thank you for your, considered, for your continued support. And again, I am very grateful, and thank you for being here today. Don't go far? Okay. I won't. So the, the administrative team on Tuesday, spearheaded by Mrs. O'Connor, presented me with a beautiful video of uh, the team and adjectives that describe me. So that made me think of how would I describe Brett? Oh, no. I was pretty nice to you. Feisty was the word he used to describe me. <laughs> Feisty. Um, but it was just so easy. So no matter what role I played in Claremont, whether it was principal, director, assistant superintendent, and now interim superintendent, um, we've had lots and lots of conversations about lots of things. And the one thing that always came through was Brett was student-centered. Always. So. How oh, perfect. Most of it's right there, student center. <laughs> um, and so it's been an honor to work with you and, and be your friends. So thank you. Thank you. All right. So I think it's time. Um, I do have to very quickly thank Andrea Delegia, the um, assistant principal here at Claremont High School, for helping us with the setup and, and the planning of the event. And also um, Caitlin O. Olesnovich and Eva Bariga over there for doing all of the planning. Thank you so much. And Cabinet for always just being there and, and you know, every step of the way and every inch of uh, this process. So um, with that, I'm going to, don't forget to please take cookies. We don't want to be left with 50 cookies at the end of the evening um, and some water. So I would like our school board to come on up. And you may have, because of the wind, we couldn't do a short ribbon, so you may have to go down and to get behind the ribbon. Um, and you too, Dr. O'Connor, come on. We're going to cut this ribbon, and then we will follow it with, um, we're going to try to get a big group picture with all of us up here at once. Unfortunately, we'll have to wear our uh, masks. And then that will be followed. If, if you would like a tour, then um, please stay. And Andrea Delegio, raise your hand right there and also we have Terrell, where's Terrell? In the back. They are happy to give another tour of our building. So I will say thank you for coming tonight and uh, joining us and we'll see you in the fall.